Hello there, Virgos. Welcome to your mid-June. Um, so first off, I feel like the main focus for the next two weeks here is you want to be very careful about your temper, being uh, a little bit more patient, being a little bit more, I want to say like uh, less assertive and aggressive when dealing with other people. Um, I do see temper flare-ups for the next two weeks, okay? I feel like some of you are dealing with a person and they are a little bit evasive. I feel like for some of you, they might be a boss who is a little bit conflict avoidant. They don't want to, you know, upset anything in the work environment. And so they don't really do anything when it comes to resolving disputes, resolving complaints, bringing things to light, holding people accountable. And then for others, I feel like you're dealing with a family member and I'm seeing somebody significantly younger who is very evasive because they don't want to get in trouble. And I feel like you care about this person. You want to give them the benefit of the doubt and you're very gentle when dealing with them because for whatever reason, you feel like they are lacking in that structure, family structure. They're lacking in emotional support. So you go above and beyond to really pamper and, you know, take care of this person. And they're taking it for granted. So they are, um, I, I feel like they expect you to do more. They feel entitled. And so drawing the line between, you know, where, where your support ends is going to be really important because I feel like the other person, they're, they're kind of like sitting back, resting on their laurels and not really doing much to contribute to that relationship. And I feel like that's a, a child for others of you who are dealing with a child, okay? What I'm also feeling is um, there is going to be a little bit of strife in relationships for some of you. And if there has been a lot of um, instability, especially restructuring or a lot of overtime in your work environment, or you just have other things piled up on your plate, um, your partner might feel like they're missing missing you, like, like there's too much absence from you. And so they need a lot more attention. And I feel like they might be lashing out mainly because they, they, they feel there is a lack of, um, they, they feel like you're not spending enough time with them. So, you know, revisit your relationships, spend time with your partner. I feel like for some of you in relationships, there is a little bit of discord coming in between you and your partner as it contain uh, as it pertains to like an ex okay like hearing about an ex an ex interfering in the relationship or something like that and this is not the first time I feel like this is something that's happened before so air it out um, talk about it get it done and over with because I see this energy is a recurring energy and it's not going to lead to you know anything fruitful unless you're able to hash things out and just be honest with each other um, for those of you thinking about investment properties, I see like real estate, like wanting to purchase property, wanting to invest in things. Um, it might be a good idea for you to put a freeze on that for right now and revisit this in the October time frame or even towards the end of this year. I feel like it might be a lot more in your favor. OK, so real estate issues, um, investments, especially or even investing in an investment property. So I feel like th this is something you might want to wait on. OK, so don't be impatient. Don't be too rash. Don't rush in for this month. You're not a sign that does that. But I feel like the next two weeks might be a little bit problematic because of it. I see some of you surrounded here. Um, it feels to me more like a female energy, somebody who has a very high emotional ups and downs. So I feel like for some of you, she might be pregnant and she's uh, a little bit like, you know, the, there's this emotional up and down, like uh, hormonal uh, shifts. And then for others, this might be a mother who's going through some type of um, trauma in her life or some type of menopausal, you know, symptoms. And then for others, uh, sisters and I feel co-worker who is spending a lot of time with you. They, they need to bounce ideas off of you and you're, you're worried about them because you're trying to find ways to make things better. And I honestly feel like for some of you, it could be like a wife who is pregnant, a mother, um, girlfriend, for example. So I feel like there's a lot of people, um, the energy around you is... You're surrounded by somebody who is a little bit like emotionally up and down. And I feel like it is affecting you as well. So be very careful with your temperament and not to, you know, protect your energy, not to mirror the energy of other people, not to absorb the energy of other people, especially if they're kind of um, turbulent. They're dealing with some turbulence in their lives. So make sure that you protect your energy field. Okay.
So uh, that is what I see for you here, Virgos. Take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.